Huh? Hello, El Beatrix. Ready to get a little exercise? Oh, Interac, Epidus. How are your moon matters? You're all spinning and spinning around me. As if I'm center of your universe. <laughs> oh, hey. Uh, uh. Are you serious? You forgot? <laughs> of course not. Sports are great for memory. So I never forget anything. And what's the name of your closest, dearest moon? I'm literally almost bumping into you. No one's closer. Oh, come on. I'm just messing with you. Oh, Daphnis, Pan, my two darlings. Number one and number three. My closest, dearest moons. <gasps> what? You do remember your brother's name, right? I do remember, of course. I just wanted to check on you first. <laughs> Amusing, right? <laughs> uh, sure, I know. Pan, and do you know? And Don, of course. Saturn, you're a comedian. You're so pathetic that it's not even worth getting angry at you. Okay, sorry. I forgot. It happens when you have over a hundred moons. Oh, sweetie, I wouldn't mind if you just simply forgot my name. Just you forget to give me a dumb name. I am just S2009 S1. Another brilliant day. Hmm? Strange. I feel now I'm almost certain that I used to shine brighter. Am I aging? No, 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 that can't be. I'm the sun, after all. I'm always bright and beautiful. Oh, Earth, please tell. Don't you think I... Um, well, dimmed a bit. Maybe there is some cosmic face cream that you know of. Uh, do you really want to know my opinion? Despite me always telling you that you're getting uppity for no reason. You're just jealous, but I understand you, so it's all good. Oh, well, in that case, honestly, you're not even the brightest star in our galaxy. What? Yep, if you look closely, way over there, see that handsome fellow? That's serious, and it's 22 and a half times brighter than you. This can't be. Oh, horror. It seems I should start looking for retirement homes for aging stars. <laughs> That's nothing. Ever heard of quasars? Quay what? Quasars. They're also called universe lighthouses. They form when two galaxies the size of the Milky Way collide with each other. As a result, a supermassive black hole consumes all the stars in both galaxies. And its magnetic fields creates a bright glow. Oh, a glow? How bright is it? Are you really interested? Yes. You absolutely, positively want to know? Yeah. Quasars are 600 trillion times brighter than you. Oh, my goodness. Yep, that's right. Like I said before, you need to be more humble, son. So it means the brightness of all objects in the universe is measured by me? What? I didn't... Yes, exactly. I'm not the brightest, but I'm the only one worthy of being the unit of measurements for the brightness of all objects in the observable universe. Thanks, Earth. I never realized how important I am. Hey, Mars. Did you know that? Uh... Oh, I used to be so handsome when I was young. And what now? I've become somewhat jumpy. Nah, I haven't really changed. I'm the same as I was, just a little bit older. <laughs> Mars, are you crying? What? No, it's... I just got something in my eye, that's all. <laughs> Come on, Mars. At least show us what you've got. Hell no, it's none of your business, two idiots. Come on, show us. Well, now let's see what you've got here. Wow, you're so young. Yes, I can even recognize you, Mars. Oh, I remember when I was young, but then I looked worse than I do now. 
I was also really ugly when I was young. I used to be some kind of fiery ball, something absolutely different from what I am now. I was born in a very strange way, at least according to hypotheses that exist. I was formed from dust, dirt, and spherical masses of gas that appeared after the sun was born. This is according to the theory of the Big Bang. It means I wouldn't exist if there was no sun. That's it, but there are people living on me who think that I am a huge molecule, almost like a new element on the Mendeleev table. I'd like to say that I don't care about your story and how you looked like when you were young, but it may sound rude, so I'll be polite and just ask you to give me my album back. Mar, shut up! Earth, so you were born like this! But what about me? Because I'm the coolest satellite in the whole universe! Okay, I warned you. You're a piece of me. According to the hypothesis, you were a planet that crashed enemy. You're a mixture of this planet and me. So you were born thanks to me, just as I was born thanks to the sun. Oh crap, I thought the story of my birth was a little bit more interesting. Dear planet and moon, I told you to leave me alone peacefully. Well, now screw you. Give me my album and get the hell out of here. Now I'm satisfied. And you get the f- You know, uh, you really don't know anything. Being so brilliant is so exhausting. Sometimes you just want to be, well, you know, inconspicuous, unremarkable, dull. Oh, just like Jupiter. Look at him. Absolutely plain. A big as nobody. Yeah, he could use a little self-improvement. Uh-huh. We're almost the same age and I know for sure. He's always been like that. You know what else? Can you imagine he once wanted to become a star too? Him. But apparently once he found out how much effort it would take, he immediately dropped the idea. Listen, you're behaving like pigs. Your earthly terms again. I don't even want to hear them. Just so you know, Jupiter, even though not a star, also shines. It's the third brightest in my night sky. And in those distant places of the galaxy where you, my arrogant sun, are too lazy to shine, Jupiter's practically the main source of light there. Wow, I didn't know that. Saturn, did you know? Your neighbors, after all. Well, uh, the thing is, uh, you can't throw the ball out of the rings, so those folks really don't get much light from you. Seems like you're losing track, Earth. Who is everyone revolving around? I have a whopping nine satellites. Not like some others, right, Earth? <laughs> Only nine? I have 83. Hey, let us go! And your beloved Jupiter, by my recent count, 95. So stop spilling the tea on him. Earth, your Earthisms are seriously getting on my nerves. But how? Darn, it turns out that we are the losers. What his secret? He's just a dim-witted lazy ball of gas. Literally a floating fart, the apogee of uncoolness. Oh, you said you didn't like Earthisms. It's simple. Unlike you, my arrogant ones, Jupiter is truly a good guy. Maybe he's not as bright and not as athletic and doesn't set goals for himself, but he values everyone around him. There's your answer. Son, your pride will be your downfall someday. And yours someday will be me. Have you noticed how weird the sun is? It's usually really dull. Yeah, I guess it's because of what's happening to us. Right, my earthlings have a telescope. Do you want to find the black hole? Hmm, I wish I knew where to look for this black hole. No one had seen it before 2017. Oh, Polaris. Ah! Oh damn, it's gone! Polaris has been swallowed by a black <gasps> hole! What? The black hole's close? It seemed to me that the black holes approached our galaxy. No, that's Uranus kidding. Leave us alone! We can move on. Let's go, Earth. Where are you going? Where are you going? And who handled your duties here? Mars, back me up. Can you give me a hand while I'm in the field? Not a chance. As if I'm not busy enough, you're gonna travel and I'll work for you. No worry. I hate such neighbors. <sighs> Excuse me, maybe it's not modest, but I can fill in for you if you want. Oh, that's so kind of you. Earth, do you know that if you and the moon leave the solar system, you can never come back? You'll pass the point of no return. That's just your hypothesis. What if great adventures await us and Moon and I learn how to teleport anywhere in the universe? I've definitely decided to go with the fear. Moon, are you with me? Uh-huh. I 
looking just a little worried. Good luck, guys. I'm kind of worried about you. Be off with you, travelers. Poor. Eh, you'll be lost there. Hyperspace is no joke. I believe in you. Have a good trip. Come back with the victory. Take care. I would have never said that. What's happening to me? Let's go, shall we? Yeah, the black hole awaits us! And to the adventure! Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. By the way, there's a new video.